Hi Taurus, this is Kelly from Pi Tarot. This is going to be your 11 day forecast, July 21st through the 31st. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take whatever you need or whatever resonates and go from there. Okay, oh, real quick you guys, Sunday, July 22nd, I will be doing a live chat on YouTube. So if you would like to join in, it will be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. It's just very casual. Maybe I'll pull some cards if you have some questions. Not no deep readings or anything like that, you know. Um, so let me get started here with your forecast, your reading. See what's going on with you guys. Hope that's not too loud. It's really loud in my microphone. I mean, my headphones. Okay. Okay, starting with the Three of Swords. The Sun. The Three of Pentacles. The Unknown card. Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. So two aces. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, right, the first thing that's coming to me here is, you know, the overall energy is the unknown card. So there is this feeling of being clueless and needing to get a tarot card reading or listen to this tarot reading to try to gain some clarity. You see how she's looking into her crystal ball. She's trying to gain insight. And this has something to do with... Uh, the three of pentacles in other words like it's someone you're questioning is this person putting their effort in like why are they why is someone doing what they're doing sometimes the three of pentacles can represent like performance it's a performance card for me so you may have someone who's doing cartwheels around you um or This could be somebody that you work with that you don't know how they feel about you. Um, now, I will pull a clarifying card for the unknown card, but <clears throat> I feel like you're trying to figure out if someone's on the same page as you in regards to this uh, a connection or, you know, if, if you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to pick up signs from someone. Like you're checking, you're, you're, you know, maybe they look at you a little longer than they usually do, or you, them. But it's kind of like, you see his face? Like he's just really focused on work. And you may feel like, they're not paying attention to you and, and you're trying to get someone's attention. I feel like um, for some of you, there is some kind of connection, work connection, or someone, a coworker, or a boss, or something like that, that you have an attraction to, or they have an attraction to you, but they don't look you in the eye, really, or they're just maybe playing it off like it's just work. You know, they're not giving you any clues. But there's new, there is some potential here. There's two new potentials with this person. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. I just want to throw that out there. We have two threes here, two aces, and the sun. So it's overall a very positive situation. I'll clarify a couple of things. King of Wands. Some of, some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I have Leo here. 
This could be a boss. This could be um, someone who's like a bold leader. They're um, powerful, charming, courageous, kind of uh, if it's a male, an alpha male. If it's female, she's feisty, you know, self-assured, confident. And you may not be sure about this person or they're not sure about you. I am seeing with the Three of Swords, there's some kind of heartache, heartbreak here. There may be, this person may be involved with someone else. It could be a three-person situation where things are not going well with that other person, their other person. And a lot of the time, it's just you and them in a work environment. Um, it's so funny because this card, the illustration, it's very similar to the nine of pentacles who represent, which represents a male or female, but someone who is single, a bachelor or bachelorette, self um, independent, you know, financially independent, self-reliant, um, and so you're on some type of a prog, you're on some type of a journey to become that within yourself. But there is someone in your career or your work field that is connected to that, that you may have an attraction to, but they're not giving you anything. They're not really... Maybe they're giving you subtle signs, but you can't be sure. <clears throat> See, Queen of Pentacles here. It's definitely a work situation. That would be your energy. <coughs> for, for, some, for some of you that resonates, it would be a work situation. Otherwise, um, can be this person has a very, you know, is attracted to you. <clears throat> Maybe like, <clears throat> sorry, all of a sudden my voice, oh, um, maybe they're attracted to you, they have a little crush or something, and maybe you're the one who's not noticing them. But there's a blockage here. And I want to clarify the Three of Swords. Nine of Swords. This is stressful energy, anxiety. This person that you maybe if you you know if you have your eye on this person they have um, this person has someone who is in a medical situation or um, is ill or has had surgery and the, per the they're very stressed about their partner and perhaps you are being that friend that they can rely on, but now there's feelings that may have developed. Although I don't have any cup cards here. Something is developing an attraction because of the ace of wands. You may just be starting an, <clears throat> excuse me, a new job with someone or a new position. And there's uh, an attraction here to this person, but they are with another person. They're already, but things aren't going well with them. And <clears throat> you may be looking for signs that they're interested, but that's because you are, and, and the other way around. You know, maybe you have a, a, a heartbreak that was very um, difficult and stressful, still causes you anxiety uh, you're trying to come out into the open and, and, you know, for both of you trying to have this revelation where, you know, with the sun, like happiness, trying to have a joyous outcome. I always feel like the sun card re represents, you know, everything coming out into the open. 
positivity, joyousness. But difficult to make it happen because of the four pentacles. There's a um, possessive energy here, closed off, shielding. And I feel like that's the other person. They've shielded themselves from trying to have joy with you because they are focused on another person or someone in their life that's having difficulty and um, you're looking for any kind of a sign. The Empress, you might be trying to currently before listening to this, see if they have someone else in their life. <clears throat> and they do. The Empress is here. This is a mother figure. And not normally does a king go with the Empress. So for some of you, this person that you're interested in could have, uh, this could be about their own mother or it's about your mother. There's an illness. This person might be attracted to you or, you know, attracted on the job and uh, you're very, you're significant to them during this time period, but you're dealing with an issue with a mother. You're trying to be open and positive, but you are holding tight. There may be financial issues as well in connection to that or with you yourself. So this Ace of Wands always represents, you know, um, new romance project or job, new inspiration or the urge to create. It can also be a um, very passionate affair. This potential new beginning is... There's nothing sneaky or stealthy about it. I don't feel like anyone is trying to take advantage of anyone else. Um, but there's also fear of getting caught. Um, so, you know, Taurus, it could be you that has um, an interest in someone who may be taken and you're trying to, um, that's why you're just looking for secret signs. You're not really making a move toward the other person because you're not trying to get caught. <laughs> Or, you, or you're not really trying to let them know, maybe if this is a job that you just started, or it's just awkward, um, which would definitely explain this illustration here. Just kind of ignoring each other, but yet standing so close to each other a lot of the time, or being in each other's presence a lot of the time, but no one's really saying anything. And this could be at work, it could be at school, it could be in a, any, any situation that would involve money. I mean, it could be something as simple as, you, you know, you go to the bank every Friday and you see this person, you know, and, you know, it could be something like that. Anywhere that's connected to coins or, you know, money. So here's the three of wands. And so... This is like waiting to hear something or waiting for results. Um, or it's just having like expansion. But I feel like this is more like waiting, you know, for the, your ships to come in. Um, so there is this waiting energy here. Instead of either you or the other person, instead of just going for it. There is potential here, but it's just kind of taking your time uh, just to see if you can pick up something or if they can pick up any anything that would give them a clue to let them know that you're interested in them or vice versa. So the Ace of Pentacles, of course, is also representative of a new job, a raise, promotion, investment, or a new income source, or some or potential for all of those. So that has something to do with this waiting energy because um, someone doesn't want to lose their job or jeopardize a situation. 
It would be very risky to do that. And so if there's someone that has an interest in you at work or that you kind of have a feeling that there's an interest there, um, they're not making any moves right now because it's a work situation or because they have something else going on somewhere else. So I know like perhaps some of you are, you know, thinking to yourselves, oh, you know, I really like this person, but I don't know trying to pick up some clues and I don't know how they feel and and I feel like this is why this is what's going on with them yeah this is holding back retreating not saying anything for the sake of the job or the sake of the situation so I just really feel like this time period this is a waiting period. This is don't, I don't really feel like making any moves at this time is going to be beneficial because I don't think it would be received well. I feel like it's just best for you and or the other person just to not take any risks and just hold back. Especially if you wanted to say something to this person or, or try to make a move with them. Because um, I feel like you want to give. You may even want to help them with something. And the reason I say that is because when I look at this card, look at the stained glass window. It looks like it reminds me of the Six of Pentacles card where there's reciprocity. There's exchange, giving, poverty, helping. Um, and I feel like Right now is not the time to do that. Just to, you know, let this person work out what it is that they need to work out first with whatever they're going through. Um, of course, you can keep it extremely professional with them. Um, but I don't feel like it's time for... Um, a new romance, I feel like you have to wait a little bit because the ace, both of the aces, even though it represents something new, it represents potential. It doesn't mean it's actually happening. You know, there's a potential for something new to evolve here, but you just have to play your cards right. And, and they are doing the same. They're taking their time. So one of the messages from the Romance Angel Oracle deck, love messages for Taurus, July 22nd through the 31st. So yeah, free yourself. So try not to stay trapped in this right now. Just let it go. Let it be for now. It's time to take back, take back control of your life. So you know, even if you have control of your life already, it's just um, the message is to not do anything just yet. Take your time. Just kind of sit back and wait and see because there are a lot of unknowns still here. Mm. For some of you, this person is dealing with someone who, because of this black crow here, and I think this is the symbol for Isis. And all this purple, amethyst. Um, this person is worried about no longer having another person in their life. You know that black, coat, black crow can sometimes represent an ending on the physical plane. Um, it's a, it's also, the black crow is also, um, a symbol of mystery. And sometimes the black crow is an omen of death, but I don't feel like it's for you. Um, 
But I do feel like this person is struggling with someone who is, I feel like it's their mother or their mother is ill. Crow, the raven. Um, and there's an unknown. This person does not know what's going to happen. And they're not really communicating. They're kind of like in this energy right now. So even if you're not interested in a romantic relationship with this person, um, I just don't feel like they're going to be open to communicating too much right now um, because of their, you know, they want that freedom. They want, they want happiness, but they're still trying to, but they're still stuck on this. They're still holding on to this, you know, the, not willing to let go or they're not ready to move to the next phase of life. They're not ready for the other person to move to the next phase of life. Or you, or you're dealing with someone who receives some bad news about their health and they don't know what's going to happen. But there is, as I was saying, a potential new beginning so however that might resonate for you, um, I feel it's good news, but it's still just crowded or shrouded in mystery. There's just no, um, they're giving me like little bits of information. It definitely has something to do. It could have something to do with the loss of a child as well, um, like a miscarriage, not a baby that's already been born. This is the Empress's, she's, in, she's pregnant. So there can be that um, element happening here. Or fear of that happening. And this free yourself card can just represent freeing yourself from you know, freeing yourself or them freeing themselves from this mental anxiety, the stress. Sounds like a very morbid reading, but it's it's not because I'm not seeing here that someone, that there's a definite passing. I'm just seeing that it's just a stressful time with possibly someone who's ill and they are not sure um, what's going to happen. And they're really just trying to hold on to their sanity, hold on to what's real and tangible, and really just staying focused on work. If this is a partner of yours, you know, there may be some struggle between the two of you, lack of communication because of this situation happening here. But I do feel with these two aces here, things will improve. There will be some new beginnings. There will be potential for happiness again. But for now, really just try to focus on this here, just letting go of the mental anguish. Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to end your reading there again. If you want to join me Sunday for a live chat, it will just be for fun, strictly entertainment, just to have a good time, a little chat session with everyone. And um, again, if you want to get a personal reading from me, check the description box below this video. All of the links are there. If you request a reading through the PayPal link, please make sure to send me a follow-up email um, regarding um, your reason for the request for the reading. And Or you can log on to the Instant Go app and just reach me directly there and I'll get a reading to you within 24 hours. All right, guys. So hope everything goes well and I will see you in August. Okay, bye.